Good to see you, creator. If you're looking to learn how to share a private YouTube live stream, you have found the right video. I will explain how to create a live stream, set it as private, and invite other creators to your private show. Warning! This functionality may not last long. Enjoy it while it lasts. I'll explain why at the end of this video. If you're new to my channel, I provide super fun tutorials on OBS Studios, YouTube tips and tricks, and other video software tools. The purpose of this channel is to bring you the juiciest tutorials to boost your subscribers and views for your channel. Subscribe and we'll get some together! Okay, creator, let's log into your channel. Once you log in, go and click your icon in the upper right hand corner. Select YouTube Studio. And a lot of creators are telling you to go to the lower left-hand corner and click the, the old studio link, which is not there anymore. So what you have to do, you have a choice. You can either click the Create button and select Go Live from there, or I just like to click the middle icon right here, click Go Live. It takes you right into the live stream interface. And what I would like you to do is not worry about clicking Stream, but click the Stream Now Classic. Now, this is one of the reasons why I think that this is not going to last. So uh, stay with me on that because I'm going to explain why towards the end of this video. Okay. Once you get here, I want you to select privacy unlisted. So put your title in, your description. If you want to schedule it, you can click this. But for privacy, we want to select private and it fails to ask you what emails you want to send your notifications to to let people know that your private live stream is being created. I wonder why? It's very strange. Why are they hiding it? Well, you have to go into advanced settings. Okay, and it gives you this next screen, all this crazy stuff, which is fine. And once you click this, then you want to click basic info. And then it gives you the share button right here. Once you click the share button, you can enter all the Gmail accounts that you need. They have to be Gmail accounts, okay? They have to be actual creators or have YouTube accounts in order to get the notification. Upon you entering those emails in there, you'll click the notify via email link. So if I put in Bob, your uncle at gmail.com, it's a fake email, by the way, and then check off notify via email and hit OK, Bob's your uncle will get a notification letting him know of your private live stream. Why am I saying that uh, there's the potential that this will go away? Well, I'll tell you that the private video sharing function has been terminated due to nefarious actions of very disgusting human beings. I don't want to get into it, but YouTube has been tracking the activity of these human beings for quite a while. They've been in conjunction with the FBI and those emails have been tracked, recorded, and those people will be arrested, unfortunately for them. <laughs> and I'm wondering if the same type of activity is occurring here. I bet you it is. And so I'm willing to bet that very soon this functionality too will be put to bed forever due to this activity. I'm not going to get into what the activity is. I don't think you're stupid. I think you can figure it out on your own. But I think the days of private live streams and uh, anything that's private, to be honest with you, is coming to a quick end here at the venue. <laughs>